welcome to AG's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do a, a, a metal stay card. And this is from the Paper Studio. And it's Behold, Be Brat. And it's 80 sheets of four sheets. Those five designs in eight different corners. Yeah. And uh, today I think I'm going to use the pink. And maybe the green. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to play. I think I'm going to pick this one. This may be too much. And this one. Yeah. We'll try this. And this may not come out as usual. Because I have not pre-planned it. As usual. I am going to use this stamp set. These is butterflies and the dies. And I will be using the color bug. These is from Artsy Stamp and Cut Butterfly. Is all I know on this. <clears throat> this is my Happy Mother's Day stamp. And I have no clue where these came from. These is Penny Black uh, stamp set. And I'm not for sure. And it is the Floral Festival. And I'm going to probably do this one or that one. And I may just use this, but no, I'm going to use the dice. Or we may use this one. I don't know yet. But this is the three stamp sets we're using. I'm using Stay Zone. I'm going to use Spectre Normals. I'm using my Real Memory Keepers. Um, Scorn trim board. I'm using white card stock. I've got a whole sheet of uh, five and a half by eight and a half. Then I'm just going to put this down to the sizes. I think I may need. Well, okay, and then I'm going to cut this five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm just going to cut like a two inch strip of this. Okay. Jeez, me. And like I said, I ain't prepared. I'm having to get my book. I didn't even get me a stamp block. No one I'm using stamps. So. And if y'all don't know, I never play nothing. I just start playing. I'm stamping that really good with the stay zone. Mm. 
and I'm going to use a baby wipe as usual to wipe my stamp off. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use the Spectre Noir BB3, I think. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to color in each of these real quickly, or well, as quickly as I can. Let me rephrase that. So, is everybody having a great week so far? I can't believe it's already frosty. And I'm going to be trying to do at least a Mother's Day card a week this month. So, I'm going to try. I'm not promising nothing. That way, maybe one of them y'all will like for your medicine. <clears throat> Just the main cards and happy birthday and all that to me for a woman is fine. I have trouble with kids' cards, so no, no, I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's because I'm a woman, I can make these women, the women's cards so much easier. I just do what I think I would like to get in the mail. And if y'all don't know, I am stepping out in my comfort zones. I'm going to grab my DG3 Spectre Normals and just and corner the stems in. And then I'm going to grab my TN2 and call it the middle of the flower in. I really don't know what that's supposed to be. <coughs> and then I'm going to trim this back up. To use my black spectrum normal and I'm using the board blown the wide tip to do this 
and I'm going to just go right around the edges. I mean, I want a mat, but I don't want a big, thick mat. And this saves on cardstock. Plus, it's a lot of to um, send if you send it in the mail. And this will come off with a baby wipe later once it dries real good. <clears throat> so, y'all don't stress. And I'm going to use my Aunt Riddle glue. And I put my Aunt Riddle glue in these little bottles. Lightly. It just... It's so much easier to squeeze. And I fill up four, three or four bottles at a time. And then I'm going to just cut these this off. Can I screw up? As usual. Okay, now I'm gonna move this out of my way. Move this out of my way. Ooh, sorry. I'm trying to keep that straight if y'all ain't figuring it out. I'm taking my butterfly. Say I am. And I gotta find the color book. That's odd. A butt. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to use a two B's in my magnetic plate for this. I'm going to use just white cardstock. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut about two of these, two to three of these. Now, I make up more than I need, but that's fine. I'll use them on something else. 
I know me. <laughs> Now, most people say don't do this until you stamp it, and I do it both ways. I'm going to use this, this butterfly. And I'm putting it on acrylic block. Now I had, I saw somewhere on on that uh, YouTube the other night, or maybe it was Pinterest. I don't know, one of those two. Maybe it was Pinterest. That you can use if these ain't sticking. Use your um, chapstick. She use beeswax on it. And I'm like, hmm, I have a few of those. But don't do that. I haven't tried it. Although I do have beeswax. And this is why y'all y'all cut y'all stamp it before you cut it. I just in my mind, I wasn't thinking, so. Nothing new. Okay. I'm going to cover this back up. I am going to use my Spectre Noir B. BP3 this one and I'm just going to trim this up like it's supposed to be be the one maybe I'll just cut it Now, if you don't have the di butterfly dies, don't, I mean, you can fussy cut any sh of the butterflies or anything you want to put on it, uh, more florals. Uh, I just think butterflies makes everything pretty. And that's my opinion. Nobody else's. I'm going to use arc little glue and I'm going to just attach my little butterfly. Now I'm going to take LG1 for my next butterfly. Just enough to give it a little bit more points. And I'm going to trim this one up. I 
again using the hot glitter glue again. <clears throat> okay, that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to use a piece of my white. And I'm going to stamp Happy Mother's Day on it. Just, I mean, I, I mix and match, match my stamp sets a lot of times. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the mood I'm in. Or if there's something in one set I like better than the other. That's, you know, kind of how I go how I figure out what I'm going to do. I'm covering this up so I don't get it all over Kingdom Come. back to my paper pack. I do believe. I guess I won't. I can't decide what color I would want. So I think I'm going to use the tan that we used for the middle of the foam and do like we did on the other piece. Just do a thin line for like a border or a layer. And if you don't have the markers or don't feel comfortable doing this, you can always cut the cardstock, a uh, piece of cardstock to match. Or use what you want. Now I'm going to uh, fold my cardstock in half. I've already cut it in half. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half. Just like so. And a lot of people scores it. I have it. I don't because I can't do it. I mean I get it off. Soon. Somehow or another I get it off. So to me, it's easier for me to just take it and fold it this way. Everybody's different. I'm using art glitter glue again. And if y'all ain't figured out, I love my art glitter glue. And I want to thank May May to get for getting me hooked on it. Okay, and yet, the ones that watches me a lot knows I don't normally do the inside my cards, but today, I, or this morning, I'm going to. I'm just going to put a little bit of fly right here. And 
And yes, I'm aware this will bleed through. If you if your mother's like my mother, she don't care. She'll never probably notice it. Except if she's watching this video and then she'll probably look at it. And here's another quad finish. I hope y'all like this video. Um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel because it helps me out to bring y'all more content. And um, click if you're on my uh, blog, click on the Amazon um, links and order your Amazon products through my link. Um, I get a small commission and that helps me bring buy new products to show y'all. And I'm not trying to tell y'all to buy. I am not no salesman. My husband's the salesman or the will and deal. But anyways, y'all have a blessed day. Give us a thumbs up for this video if you like it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the blog at AngieCraftCorner.com. And y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.